Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one I'm going to be doing a deep dive on Trickster Live, since so many people got her recently. And I now have the um, the CC account so that I can have her star filled and all that stuff. Um, and be able to show you guys a good comparison. After this one, I'm also going to do a Cora Jade one, since uh, a lot of people can do one or the other. So that's the next deep dive I'm going to do is Cora Jade. Um, so Trickster Live is actually pretty interesting. As you get better stuff, she becomes insane. Um, to the to the point where potentially one of the best lady feuders in the game. However, on my account, which has a lot of stuff, the best strap I can muster is a 30% gem damage, and I also don't have a seance. So I uh, my account that has a ton of stuff on my main can't do most of that. So I'm going to kind of walk you guys through some levels here um of live so you can decide on your roster if she might be better or worse than Cora. um if you've already taken Cora or if you've already taken live then you can watch out for the Cora one or if you want to see them both first if you haven't taken either of them um wait for the the Cora one and watch them both to compare anyway we're going to start off with triple purple this is the move set i would only run if you're lacking um like a good gem damage strap, Fury 2s, like my free to play would have to run this this build set. That's the only this is the only way I could really do much. Low charge, uh trainers are pretty uh all readily available for free to play. NWO Hogan is the hardest one. However, uh he's in the showdown store at higher league, so a 100% free to play uh build here. Um and you can use Butch over Sting. So it's the Hurricane Rana, 6 MP, choose 217k damage, choose 6 to make into purple. It's only 6 MP. Guillotine is submission. It's a big one. It's 10 MP, though. Uh, 36 random sub gems, 489k for 5 turns. Uh, it's almost 2.5 million base. And remaining uh, turn into color turn gems. And then uh, 7 MP purple, missile rope dropkick, 201k damage, make 36 color turn gems into purple. We are starting out... Um, with Sting and Bulldog, that loads your Hurricane Rana and Feud. These are all Feud builds. I don't have any perks on this account, so it will mirror Feud. We're going to index the sub a little bit with Maya Via, and then we need Hogan so that we can actually get this loaded without doing all kinds of Cascade for five match, three swipe uh, nonsense, uh, which is not uh, very reliable long term. You can do that if you don't have Hogan. You'd set up a five match uh, and then a three swipe. Um, and then you could use another sub trainer like Nikki, um, who my free to play also has powerhouse Nikki, or, um, even better if you have, it would be, um, Logan Paul. So let's get out, take a look strap. Uh, like I said, 20% gem damage. Um, I've had trouble getting, like I said, my best is a 30% ultimate, um, for tricksters. So that's, that's all I have, uh, purple metal on for now, uh, but it's full fury two maxed out. And we're going to go against Trish here. Hopefully she doesn't get us in a sub, because that won't be fun. Um, so two, three, So you can see here, in Feud, you'd only have one MP. So two, three matches gives you the ten you need. So we'll do a three here. And hopefully Merix doesn't manage to Cascade. He tried. Uh, the sub now this way is six turns at 7.3 million. That's like, uh, or seven, 730k. That's like 4.2 million damage sub. And you could also go gem damage trainers with this build instead. Um, but I found it just doesn't hit hard at all. Cause you're really not, there's not much to boost the gems. Um, also, the color turn gems can cause a pin, which can be problematic, so that's worth noting. One point two mil gem damage. So even if you were to use an all heart, you simply wouldn't get that much more. And then from that point on, your sub and the and the the change move to purple, the convert move, are just refilling it. So it's then it's just sub finish sub. Sub finish, sub finish, you know. Obviously, anyone with an escape artist would be a problem. The color turn gems can be a problem. And then um, if they have a swipe plate where they fill their MP, that can also be a problem. 
So those are the things to watch out for with this build. And this is probably your baseline where you'd start um, as far as like feud went. So moving up from there, um, if you have a decent strap, it's possible you could run this, uh, but not, you're going to see it doesn't hit as hard as you might think. It's important to note the charge on these moves. Uh, there have been a lot of videos showing her hitting ridiculously hard, and most of the time that would never work in Feud. Um, so it's good to be aware of that. Um, because you need matchy match and there's 7 MP. I mean, you could you could do this some stuff with the middle line. You could run Steel and if you have middle line bonus, you could run Steel and uh, Sting, and you could get the still get the move off with a middle line bonus and a 17k Santa Hogan. However, most people that have Roxanne, um, or most people that regularly get lady middle line bonuses probably have Roxanne. Middle line, line lane bonuses for ladies can be rough. So I'm not going to go into that with this one, uh, but I will show you a Roxanne, Roxanne build next. Anyway, they're both 7 MP. So again, uh, 1 MP trainer will not load this in Feud. Oblivion. 100 127k damage increase your red gem damage by 200% for one turn uh, then deal 254k damage make 36 color turn gems into red ripcord knee strike 193k damage choose a 5x5 five five area to make into color turn gems and then i have the jumping in and this move is is kind of whatever you want you could literally put any move in um you could potentially even put the sub in uh, and then just hope you filled it. You could also have a red to purple plate in the main slot with the sub. This is kind of dealer's choice um, in this slot. Entourage for this one, it's again going to be pretty um, free-to-play friendly for the most part. Striker RVD is the hardest one. Color turn gems do 12k more damage. Stacy Keebler red gems do 12k more damage. Bulldog, awesome trainer. Uh, 2 two MP and 45% red gem damage. So we're really trying to buff the reds. Again, this is with a 20% strap. Very simple, very fast, two-click gameplay. Put your color turns down and then convert them to red with that 200% buff. So they're doing 57k and then the 200% buff on top. And you're going to see that the two clicker does with a 20% strap and a big cascade 6 million damage. And that's with full fury 2's full st full star fills. That would be 12 million uh, at 6 star silver. It's a two cycle win uh, without crazy stuff. Right? So yeah, take that for what it's worth. Two cycle win. Because I only have a 30% strap, uh, I'm probably going to put some, some plates on in just a minute. I'll run this with some plates, but I want to run the other set without any plates first. And then we'll put plates on and run these two sets so you can see if you have certain plates. Um, yeah. So the final set, and this is definitely her best set. And this is the one where, you, where most people are like, oh, you have to take Liv. Liv is the best. Uh, trickster they can do this kind of thing right of course middle line bonus would allow you to drop hogan you're still going to want x Pac for the matchy match um to get the buff twice if you get a high enough gem damage strap you actually can forego um the matching altogether and just do two clicks and win um which we'll get into eventually here at the end since this is a, a deep dive i'm going to show try to show multiple levels here so this would be very similar to what I could run on my account um, for the most part. Uh, Roxanne, if you don't know, uh, is 4 red and 4 green MP. So Santa and your turn fills up um, the green. And then Roxanne and Bulldog and your turn, you don't need Santa, fills up your reds. Um, so yeah, running Dropkick is the one we swapped in. 6 MP green, deal 217k damage and choose 6 gems to make into red gems. And then we already talked about the entourage. So again, this is with a 20% strap. This is stacking the buff twice is what you do here. So for this one, you hit the buff first. Otherwise, you convert your color turn gems early. And that's 200% red boost. And then you plop these guys down. We're going to go here. 
And then we need two, three matches to reload it. Not horrible. Uh, maybe not super ideal for me, but not horrible. So there's that. And then you plop this guy in the other corner. It is a lot of clicks, though, with a cascade risk, but then this hits really, really hard. And this is with only a 20% strap. So 10 million reduced to 9.9. .9. Um, it does hit really hard, but you've probably seen videos of like a six star live hitting much harder. Um, this is realistic feud build. Uh, so that's about 10 million, about 20 million um, at six star silver with some risk, right? Okay, so as long as we're on this one, let's put on, um, let's put on a plate. Let's put on, Oh, let's just do Sheriff's Badge first, because Sheriff's Badge is fairly common, kind of. Like, a lot more people have this than a lot of the other plates. So whenever you break 15 more reds, generate 30 more yellows. The yellows aren't going to be buffed or anything, it's just extra gem damage. Probably going to hit about a million more damage, I would anticipate, is all. Um, but if you're doing, like, 10 million and 20 million, respectively, at Bronze and Silver... That extra million, um, 11 million to 22 million could make a big difference, potentially, right? Um, from them kicking out. Because the kickout boosts are no joke in Feud. And I already did this wrong. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to get the buff twice. So let's just go ahead and, and convert them. Because I was talking too much. I could edit that out, but I don't really see what the point would be. So we'll just reload and go again, since the buff's only one turn. Let's do it right this time. One, two, three. Okay. Now we do the color turn. Okay. So like I said, we were about 10 million. I would expect about 11 million here. We did have more reds on the board on the other one, so... We got them all, though, so that's fine. Nice little cascade. And then we went all the way to 12 million. That was a nice cascade on both parts. So I think, like, you know, Sheriff's Badge, 20% strap, um, you're going to be pretty safe most of the time, other than when you cascade. So let's see the regular build, uh, what that looks like with a Sheriff's Badge, because I only did, like, 6 million, um, I think. You'll remember if you were watching and paying attention more than I was. Uh, so let's go back to that. Seven K. Hit our Buffy buff. <clears throat> so that did six point three million. Uh, very little cascade. So again, I don't think it's a huge deal. Like necessarily, um, the sheriff's badge. It helps. It seems to help more. I mean, like, it'll help more at six star silver, but it's not like the biggest deal, right? It's just a little bit of extra. Where it comes in is when we add the next plate, uh, which is much, much more rare. Um, so I wanted to just do it without the, without the sheriff's badge first. Obviously, if you have a Ghostbuster Seance plate, which I'm not going to do in this video, uh, because they're so super rare, the two clicks is great. You just do this and then do another board of reds. Uh, and it's pretty much just game over. And two clicks with the seance, so. Okay. <clears throat> now let's, let's say, uh, so on the prize wall, the Dudley Boys plate has been 25k, which that's still very hard to get, but it's much easier to get than 40k. 
Um, so I do feel like that plate long term will probably be a little bit more readily available. Whenever you make six or more color turn gems, increase all of your gem damage by 50% for one turn. So this also uh, works on the Sheriff's Badge. And this again would be with a 20% strap. So this should this should be solid. Nice cascade. That's certainly not going to hurt. So that's up to 7.7 .7 million. Um, much more respectable. You know, you're going to get like 15 million-ish at 6-star silver. Um, but still not like where exactly you want to be to win consistently. However, it is very fast. So let's try it with this set. Again, this is more risk. Um, in a perfect world, you get to where the two clicks wins. Um, because that is the perfect combination of, like, speed and safety. Um, so the fact that that's kind of close at 7.5 intrigues me. I imagine 100% strap and you could two click with the Dudley Boy plate. Which we're going to find out. Because uh, I am curious about that. Because uh, that's going to be way more readily available than... Uh, uh, a Ghostbuster plate that, as far as I know, won't be released again. Let's do it right this time. Buff first. Then our countdown. So this adds 100% to all of them. So this, with the Sheriff's Badge, definitely going to hit hard. Um, again, there is a slight ca cascade risk with the three, the three shoes. Um, oops, let's undo that. And then just to make sure I put the reds out there to make sure we get all of them. Hundred and seventy nine K before we hit this guy. And then the yellows are also buffed 100% because we buffed the plate twice. So this should be quite, quite good. Yeah, that's 16 million. So that would be 32 million at silver. Obviously going to keep everyone down. However, it's a bit clicky. Um, so where do we go from here? Uh, I'm actually going to try a 50% strap. Um, for an in-between mark for you guys. So that'll add 30%. Um, to give you an idea how much difference that makes and because we can do it so fast uh 50 percenter i think is down here on this yeah i should probably turn this strap off now and i'll add the 100 percent strap at the end in case anyone's gotten lucky I obviously haven't, uh, but hopefully you did. And I'll add a red move percentage too. That certainly won't hurt because she actually is using the red moves here. And they're, they're, that's not nothing. That's probably an extra 800k. This account is really great for this kind of stuff because so many straps and um, stuff to use so I can kind of really walk the step ladder for you guys the video might get a little bit longer but I do feel like this is going to be useful and it is a deep dive you know what I mean so this is the whole goal with this is so you guys can see how she fits on your roster so let's do this with the 50% strap and um, just the not the Dudley boy plate actually let's just see what a 50% strap does in case you don't want to use any plates which there's nothing wrong with that also, it does occur to me, as someone who likes to be extra safe, I just had an idea, and I'm actually going to do this, uh, because, uh, yeah, I don't like cascading at all, and I just had an idea. Let me 
One, two, three. Three. Perfect. What do we do? Like 10 million ish in base. Let's see how much difference that 30% makes. We did miss one color turn, but we did get a cascade. 13 million. So that 30% boost makes a big difference. That one you could easily do. Um, like if I get a 50% strap for her, I think I could two click with that. I don't like the six. So that brings to, to my mind uh, this plate. We need green to red. And I have this on my account. Green to red. And if this isn't available for everyone, no, red to green. Wait, hold on. We're choosing red. Never mind. Never mind. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Ignore me. Ignore me. That won't do anything. So let's go to the next build, that back to the next build, and see what this would do two clicks with the 50 percenter. <laughs> Boom. Because two clicks is really, really my goal. I know I didn't put the other move in. It doesn't matter. Well, this has a bunch of reds in what looks like a really good spot. 62K. I want to say it started at 57K um, without the strap. So what's this go to? 6.2 million. Not great. But not terrible. So what about Sheriff's Badge on this one? And then uh, we'll put the Dudley Boy plate on, and then we'll run both on the... The other build I don't think we need to uh, necessarily, because you already get the idea how strong it is. It's It was already strong enough without any of the other stuff. So let's just see if we can get two clicks stronger at this point. Um, and save a little bit of time. Where did that go? Uh, it's in use. Right up. Hopefully for Spring Outbreak, they'll bring these zombie plates back. They're a lot of fun. All of all three of them are really fun. They're some of my favorite plates in the game. Nice. Seven million. Um, and that would be fourteen million at six star silver. Getting closer, but still not not where we need to be. Um, to keep most people down. So let's put that other plate on. The Dudley Boy plate. Uh, that'll give us 50% more uh, gem damage. On both the red and the yellow. The red is the very important one, though. I bet you this is going to get really close to 9 million, which at this point, um, if it hits 9 million and then 18 million, that's really, that's going to keep people down a lot of the time, but not always. Um... You would like you would get strikers for sure, I think. Um and then Tex, I think you have the class advantage on. But let's see what it does. Oh, nice cascade. I might have to run this one twice. That was a big cascade. And so was that into reds. So yeah, that's ten million. We need to run that again, because that was ten point three million, and that would be that would be big enough with the fifty percenter in those two plates. But I need to run it once more because that was a very big cascade, and I don't think that was is consistently what you'll hit. I think you'll probably be about a mil less than ten three. Right here. Mm -mm. 
there. That's a good spot. Connect a few extra reds. Everyone helps. No cascade and very little cascade. 7.5 million. So, yeah. Um, probably somewhere between the two. That was probably a low end one because basically no cascade for 7.5 and the big one hit for 10 mil. Not quite there. So that leaves a hundred strap, and I, I would imagine with a hundred strap you can you can easily uh, two click with just the the Dudley boy plate. Uh, but let's find out. Whoops! I accidentally turned the strap on this one. Let's turn that. I really, really wish I had a hundred strap. Like Lady Trickster, hundred percent strap would probably be towards the top of my wish list, mainly for Liv. Also, Powerhouse for the other Liv. Interestingly enough, uh, as funny as that is, all right. So let us see what we see. This should basically actually be the same damage we just saw um, with the with the Dudley Boy plate since it said adds 50%. So this should do like, but no, um, whatchamacallit, no Sheriff's Badge. Sixty nine K Little Cascade seven point one million gem damage and fourteen mil. Might get a few turn ones, but probably not. And I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the Dudley Boy plate on now. Actually, I'll just do the Sheriff's Badge, because I think there's a better chance you'll have the Sheriff's Badge if you're watching this uh, with 100. Um, then there is, you'll have the Dudley Boy. So let's do the Sheriff's Badge first. And the Sheriff's Badge doesn't add nearly as much as the Dudley Boy plate. The whole goal is the two clicks, right? For speed and safety. Because it's almost, it's basically twice as fast it's more than twice as fast as the other one. Because um, the other one, you're doing the choose, you're doing those two clicks twice. So this is more than two times faster. So if you can get there with this, that was 8 million. Okay, let's go. If you can get there with this, that's kind of the key, in my opinion, because it's so much faster. Only having to watch those two animations. So can we get there without a seance with 100% strap? But basically, as you're watching this, keep the damage numbers in mind. Uh, because Korra uh, basically can do like 14 million at 6-star bronze. And not much more at 6-star silver with, with very little. Um, so just keep that in mind when you compare the two. You'll, you really will want to watch both videos because the answer is not an easy answer. It really depends what you have. And we already know the other build hits hard enough. Um, like 26 million with way less stuff. And I uh, so I don't see the need to run that more. That's the better build when you're doing multiple um, choose thingies. So... Uh, you already know it hits hard enough with way less stuff. Nine point three million. That's right in the ballpark. So I do think you could probably get away with some a bunch of really speedy two-click wins, uh, targeting technicians, uh, in particular any move damage Nikitas, um, and then also strikers that are low health, right? Because they're going to go down to almost nothing, potentially wipe them out. 
I'll run that one last time. Um, and then I'll kind of recap live. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and you saw what I was going, trying, what I'm trying to do here with these deep dives. If, if you don't have an idea how live is going to be on your roster after this, let me know, uh, what I could have done differently. Um, because these do take a lot of time. It's a long video and it's a lot of work. So this is with very little cascade, 8 million. So 8 million to 16 million at silver. Um, really borderline, right? So basically to recap, I think if you want to win turn one with live, you basically need to run this set or have a really, really good, like a hundred percent gem damage strap with two really good plates. This set, you just need, you don't really need any of that stuff to win, right? So, but it is more dangerous. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, with Liv. She needs a lot to be really, really good in Feud. So the answer, if you hear somebody say, oh, it's clearly Trick Liv, she's by far the best, not exactly true. Uh, just because you've seen videos of her hitting super hard doesn't mean that's realistic for Feud. So depending what you want to do in the game, Liv may or may not be right for you. Also, depending what resources you have, let me know what you think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share because that really helps me out. And, um, let me know uh, what I can do better on these deep dives. Uh, thanks for watching. Good luck out there. Hmm. You know, I still think she's really borderline if I'm going to take her up on my roster or not. I just, I don't have a big enough strap, so I don't think I can. Uh, I think uh, I have better tricksters.